My name is Noah Galloway. I live in Birmingham, Alabama with my family and I served in the Army. While I was going to school at the University of Alabama at Birmingham when 9-11 happened, I decided to go in the military because I was 20 years old, physically fit, and loved my country. So I never went back to class and I took the advice of my uncle and went to the recruiter and said I wanted airborne infantry and went through basic training, jump school, and ended up at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I was the first person to hit a tripwire ID in Iraq. It definitely is what set my life in a whole different direction. It detonated a bomb large enough that when it hit my door, it threw this 9,000 pound armored Humvee flying through the air and landed in a canal running adjacent to the road. Helicopter took me to a camp in Baghdad. Doctors worked on me there, there to Germany, Germany to Wall Street Army Medical Center in DC. And that's when I woke up six days later on Christmas Day as my parents were walking in. I, I went through many emotions in the hospital. One moment of thinking, this is okay, I can make this work, it ain't that bad, to literally a moment later, angry, and then a moment after that, crying like a baby, just scared of what was gonna happen. What am I gonna do with my life now? And that put me in a deep, dark place for a long time. So when I got my prosthetic leg and I stood up, I didn't wanna get in a wheelchair ever again. And then when I finally got my running leg, I was so excited, could not wait to run again. And I got outside with the occupational therapist. I'm trying to run in this leg. It did not feel like running with two legs. It uh, disappointed me. And it was just another thing that went in the closet. And of all things, me and my kids were watching America's Funniest Home Videos one night. And there was a two-legged dog in a video. It was missing both limbs on one side, running around the yard. And then everyone's laughing, it's funny. But I was watching it and I thought, you know, as humans, we overthink things. And an animal doesn't think that much. They just are like, hey, this is what happened. Change, react. So it was actually that video that motivated me to get my running leg back out and then start running. I've had a lot of victories since my injury, and there's been a lot of moments that some are big, some are small, and I started working out. And then I started running races, everything from off-road course races to marathons. Did a Spartan death race that was 58 hours long. 100 people showed up, only one with, a, with an injury, and 20 of us finished, and I was one of them. I was the first veteran and amputee to ever grace the cover of the world's largest men's magazine. They called me the ultimate guy, that was their best sold issue. We got the attention of Ellen DeGeneres. I did her show, Dance of the Stars called. So I go and do this show, expecting to just do it for maybe two weeks at best. And I actually end up doing the entire 10 weeks and came in third place. Too many men and women try to battle this on their own. Letting depression take over your world is giving in. It is giving up. And I would encourage a fellow veteran to get the help, go through Headstrong to experience that triumph over trauma.